Shall we pray? We thank you, Holy Spirit of God, sharing in all creation from the very beginning of space and time and matter. We thank you by whom Mary was chosen. Jesus was born and anointed and filled. He embraced suffering and death and was glorified, and the church was born. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for life transformed and made new, for old thoughts giving way to new dreams, old ways giving place to new life in Christ, old sins giving way to new graces, old caution giving way to new courage, old, excuse me, old fears giving way to new confidence. We thank you for your new life among the first disciples, for Peter and James and John transformed by you. We thank you for the life amongst the next followers in Paul and Barnabas and Timothy. We thank you for the long succession of followers and saints stretching down through the ages, all made new by your power. We thank you for those who encouraged us in the faith, who called us to that new life. Holy Spirit, ever making life new, the living power of Christ within us. Come claim us for yourself. Yours we are, now and every day, for the rest of our lives into eternity. Thanks be to God. We are here, Lord. You have brought us. And now we bring to you those in need of our prayers, the sick, the bereaved, the anxious. Come, Holy Spirit, to those in distress. To those afraid, bring comfort, bring peace. Come to us when we seek to help. Guide our words and the ways in which we care. We are here, Lord. You have brought us. And now we bring to you the needs of our society, which seeks new values as we come out of lockdown a sense of purpose in an unstable and changing world. Come, Holy Spirit, bring neighbourliness back into our communities. Bring hope to our young people through difficult times. Bring harmony where there is discord. We are here, Lord, and you have brought us here. And we bring the world to you, our world, where millions battle with hunger, our world divided between rich north and poor south, between developed and underdeveloped, powerful and powerless, split by religious divides. Come, Holy Spirit, blow down the barriers that divide us and bring us face to face with those of the world who need our concern. We bring to you again our thoughts for the world struck by pandemic. Help us to help those who need your help through the gifts of vaccines, through the aid, the packages that we can offer. We pray for the people of your holy land, divided by religion and hatred and violence. Be with the leaders of the world as they try to find ways to resolve conflicts. We are here, Lord. You've brought us here as your church. Your Holy Spirit has breathed into us and given us a message for the whole earth, a message of hope, of love and forgiveness, of joy and salvation, of peace. Come, Holy Spirit, fill us up with your love. Be with us in the work of our congregations, in our presbytery and in your church. Bind us to God and bind us together. Make each one of us complete in you. Spirit of God, breathe into our lives. Breathe into the church. Breathe into the world. We pray this through Jesus Christ. Amen. Our closing piece of worship music is The Spirit Lives to Set Us Free. Walk, walk in the light. 